It's beer o'clock on Meal Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and it's a collaboration with Bundo Bust. And this is their Salted Lime Sour. It's a 4.2% ABV, 440 milliliter can with yellow lions and a green background. I've been to Bundo Bust. It's a vegan type bar with wonderful beers in it, always a couple of really good beers. And I think when I went to Bundle Bust in Leeds, I went to Bundle Bust in Leeds many moons ago, I had like these green chips, these like, um, they were like green bean chip things or something along those lines. They were really good, really, really tasty. But yeah, Bundle Bust, it's nice to see their name on the side of a can in a major supermarket like like Sainsbury's. Without further ado then, this beer cost me three pounds. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I always forget the name of those chips. And then people remind me in the comments box. They're like, they're, they're like Frips or Frinkle Crips. Or green chips they are from Bundle Busting Leeds. Comments in the comments box. Let me know what they're called. Two to three finger white head. It is dissipating. I'd like it to dissipate a little bit quicker if I'm perfectly honest. For a sour beer. Um, it, this slow moving carbonation, it's a slightly lime coloured, hazy, straw coloured beer. I think that would be the best description of this beer. And let's wash the rest of the beer around and get it in the glass. Now I've got my fingers crossed here. I've had a few of these citrus infused sour beers recently. Only one last week on the channel. And I have my slight complaints with these beers in that the brewers seem to think that they've come across a trick of making sure they put enough lime in the beer that people go, whoa, that's sour. I get that. I get that it's a sourness. It's a lime sourness. But for me, the wires are crossed a bit too much in the what a real sour beer is is not just concentrated lime or real limes maybe in this one squeezed into a beer where you think oh that's sour on a real sour beer a real sour and we, we might be able to get that get into that in a moment fingers crossed without writing this beer off without even tasting it i'm hoping that it's an authentic sour beer with a touch of lime but the only way of finding out is by getting our guns round it, isn't it? So here we go. Let's get the aroma first and foremost, though, shall we? Racing ahead. Yeah, already I have my doubts. Oh, I, I do, I do. I have, I have my doubts straight away. Um, North Brewing Company, they're such a reliable, fantastic brewery that normally stick so close to the what a beer style should be that I'll be slightly so I am going to be slightly surprised I think by the use of the lime in the beer and then the use of the name sour in the beer I think I'm going to be disappointed with this one it's really limey I'm expecting it to be sour, but not in the way that I want a sour beer to be. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 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 Now then. Now then. Look at this beaming face. Thank 
thankfully, 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 North Brewing Company has used the lime as a bit of a turbo boost, as a bit of a kick up the backside to the regular sour beer. Sour beer is really sour. It's really sour. But bang a load of lime in it as well. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Thankfully. Thankfully. And stone the crows. Stone the crows. Thankfully. This is a really good sour beer. It's not just a load of lime juice squeezed into a beer. Oh, this is proper sour beer with that kind of extra turbo charged lime energy. Oh, sour. Oh. It's incredible. It's incredible. So, what is this beer then? Salted lime sour. Because this has hit the supermarket, Sainsbury's, I think that North, I nearly call them salt, um, I think that North Brewing Company and of course Bundle Bust have come up with a very clever naming scheme for this beer. Salted beer, generally, is a gozer. And gozers come from a certain region, the Goza region of Germany, the Goza River in Germany, where that river is slightly salty. So brewer, a brewery set up in that region using the water from the river, and all of their beers were slightly salty and slightly sour. That beer style nearly disappeared up until the last 10 years when breweries realised that this beer style shouldn't, this Goza beer style shouldn't disappear and it should be revived. The reason why I think this beer style or the naming of this beer is really clever is that not a lot of people out there will understand what a Goza is. I'm not attacking anybody here, I'm not kind of You know, calling you all numpties, that type of thing. But there's a lot of people out there that will not understand what the word Goza means. So instead of using the word Goza like a lime goes. Lime Goza. In the small minority that is the craft beer world and people who understand and truly understand craft beer. Yes, yes, we would all understand Lime Goza. But cleverly, North and Bundlebust have gone, OK, we're going to sell, sell this to the general public in the British supermarket, which is Sainsbury's. We're going to simplify this a little bit. And we're going to call it a salted lime sour. And for me, that's a much better naming. That is a much, 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 much better naming. Simplified naming of a beer than to try and complify... Com complify? Amplify. Complicate. Complicate things by calling things a goza. This is wonderful. Wonderful beer. Probably sour. <laughs> but a properly salted goza sour with lime in it. That's brilliant. Super thin. Super drinkable. I love it. Absolutely love this. Stone the Crows. For three pound a can, Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Do I give the ABV? 4.2% ABV. 10 out of 10 from me, though, Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.